What up, Boxing World? 12 Rounds TV. Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina. This is going to be a good fight. You know, back when um, Mike Tyson used to fight, everybody loves the heavyweight division. You know what I mean? It was like two big dudes just getting at it. You know, it was quick fights, especially if Tyson was fighting. You know, he's one of those fights where you don't want to go to the bathroom because by the time you was done and get back in front of TV, the fights are over. You know, everybody always. In early 90s, you know, mid 90s. I mean, it was great, right? Especially late 80s for Mike Tyson. So yeah, heavyweight was very, very popular back then. But now, it's slowly coming back. You know, we got light heavyweight uh, Kovalev. We got heavyweight Deontay Wilder. I mean, you got Bermain, uh, Steve Vern, um, you got Eric Molina now, you got Chris Ariola. I mean, solid competitors, you know, solid guys. But um, in the past decade, uh, the boxing world was somewhat over uh, overran by welterweight. You know, for some reason, uh, welterweight has uh, been more popular lately than. Uh, Middleweight, light heavyweights, and heavyweights. But anyway, this is only because you got Floyd Mayweather Jr. and uh, Manny Pacquiao in the game still. But if these two fighters retire, you know, I'm, I, I can see uh, middleweights uh, coming, becoming uh, pay-per-view sensations. Because you got Golovkin, you got Cotto, and Canelo. You know, you could be there middleweight also if you want to. Uh, solid guy, solid guy. So I think so. I think uh, welterweight is gonna not gonna be the same as if Mayweather and Pacquiao is in it. I mean, I'm not saying that there's not good fighters out there. I mean, you still got Keith One Time Thurman, you got Mir Khan, you got. I'm not gonna mention Algeria. He's not a solid competitor. Um, you got uh, Cal Brook. I mean, you got all these guys that are upcoming welterweights too. If they wanted to be me, Danny Garcia, you got Adrian Broner. I mean, you got a lot of fighters that are upcoming welterweights, but they're not going to be nowhere near popular or pay-per-view sensation like uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao. But we still got Miguel Cotto in the game. So, like I said, but you know, Miguel Cotto is uh, light middleweight, right? He says he's light middleweight, but I think he could be middleweight. Golovkin obviously is middleweight. So, yeah. This video is actually about my uh, prediction, uh, pre-fight prediction of the Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina. Well now, we got two solid guys. One is undefeated, the best, the WBC heavyweight title holder, Deontay Wilder, and another one is the, um, the challenger, Eric Molina. Now, Eric Molina doesn't have as many fights as Deontay Wilder. I mean, as a matter of fact, he's got a total of 25 fights, 23 wins, two losses, and he's got wins, 17 wins coming by knockout. And he's been TKO'd before. You know. uh, I believe he lost to uh, Chris Ariola. I can't remember the other one though. But Eric Molina is 6'4", he's a big dude. Um, he doesn't necessarily have a great chin. He's got a good chin, but he's got good punching power. Well capable of knocking out heavyweight opponents if you give him the chance. Um, in this case, uh, he's going to be fighting Deontay Wilder, like I said, uh, with a perfect record of 33 wins and um, no losses. No draws, no contest, just knockouts, except for one. So he is 33 wins, 32 knockouts. Like I said, no losses, no draws. Kind of scary dude, right? You know what I mean? If I was like Eric Molina, I'm not saying that Eric Molina is, is scared, but I'm saying that Eric Molina should be concerned a little bit. You know, you're facing a guy that is a knockout artist. I mean, you face a guy that is actually only wins by knockouts, you know, you know, except for except for one. And even though Bermain Stevern is a solid competitor and great talent, he still lost to Deontay Wilder 
via United position, you know. I mean, but we know now, though, the Burmese still were and can take some punches, you know what I mean? I mean, Deontay Wilder landed a lot of head shots and chin shots and body shots. You know it. Um, you guys freaking know what, what happened in that fight. And, um, and Steve Byrne took it like a champ. As a matter of fact, Steve, uh, Steve Byrne landed a lot of shots also against Deontay Wilder, and, but failed to obviously knock him down or knock him up. Deontay Wilder's never lost a fight before. He's never been down. He's never been nothing. Just wins. Just knockouts, right? So, yeah. It's not necessary. I wouldn't call this match, uh, Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina, a going to be a close match. It, it, it's far from that, you know what I mean? Deontay Wilder has a lot more fights, uh, you know, than um, Eric Molina. He's got a way better record than Eric Molina. Um, Eric Molina, like I said, not only has lost before, but also been TKO'd. But on the other hand, you got Deontay Wilder that just knocks people out. You know, guy that's six seven or something like that. You know, 200 pounds, easy long freaking reach height advantage i mean it's like freaking fighting a giant you know what i mean so but i don't think eric molina is concerned about that i think he should be concerned a little bit and and um and prepare you know make sure he's prepared and um and i hope that he comes um solid come saturday the fight uh, night in Alabama, by the way, so there you go. Deontay Wilder fighting Eric Molina in Alabama, hometown crowd advantage. It's gonna be loud, you know. It's gonna have all the fans of Deontay Wilder. You know, Eric Molina is probably gonna have a little bit, a little bit close to none fans in Alabama. You know, hometown just like any other sports. You know, baseball, basketball, football. You name it. You know, when when you're when you're fighting at home, you're always you always have an edge. Now, uh, Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina, like I said, it's going to be a good fight. It's not going to be a great fight. It's going to be a good fight, you know. I think that Eric Molina is well capable of knocking down or knocking out uh, Deontay Wilder if the, uh, if the uh, opportunity presents itself. And um, Deontay Wilder comes sluggish or not ready or just out of it, you know what I mean? I mean, just humans, period. We all have our good days and bad days. And, well, obviously, for some reason, Deontay Wilder has always come 100%. And that's why he's won all his fights, you know. He's, he knows how to win, you know. Not only to win, he knows how to knock people out. So... My prediction of this fight, sad to say, but I am going for Deontay Wilder. Obviously, he is the um, he's the champion. He's the defending WBC uh, heavyweight title, and with a perfect record, with a knockout, very high knockout percentage, and the height advantage, the reach advantage, you know, definitely I, I have to pick him. I mean, if I had to put my money, which I'm not, but if I had to pick, put my money on, it would be Deontay Wilder um, via knockout uh, within six rounds. Um, I don't think Eric Molina is is going to go no further than six rounds against uh, Deontay Wilder. Uh, reason for me saying that is Eric Molina has been TKO'd before. He doesn't have the best chin. He doesn't have, as a matter of fact, um, the same chin as Bermain Stiverne. And I can see Deontay Wilder knocking him out, either by TKO, stoppage, or knockout. So I think that um, Eric Molina is capable of going all 12 rounds against uh, Deontay Wilder, but I just don't see it. Not this time, not this fight. Uh, I, I don't see it. I think that uh, Eric Molina will give it his best, but eventually he will get caught and he'll go down. I think he's going to be knocked down. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, Eric Molina 
uh, has no chance. Any anything can happen in boxing. You know, every boxer, every opponent has a chance to win against the other. Um, I just don't see it. Like I said, if I was to put my money on, it would be a Deontay Wilder um, win via knockout uh, within six rounds against Eric Molina. <clears throat> now, um, on the on a side note, I just want to say that if Eric Molina performs differently from his previous fights, and because you know some 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 boxers and fighters that has lost before and has and has some doubts from the public, you know sometimes surprise the boxing world. You know, just like Algeri, I mean that surprised a lot of people <laughs> against against America and we didn't know Algeria was going to perform like that hell even my prediction was incorrect a lot of people was actually prediction was incorrect you know so we could be proved wrong um, you know nothing is solid um, even the greatest of the best of the best boxer athletes in the world can lose you know what I mean um, nobody's perfect as a matter of fact the uh, only perfect guy that I can tell is because he passed away was Rocky Marciano you know and the only reason why he was um, undefeated is because, like I said, he was no longer able to fight because he he passed on a on an airplane crash. So maybe you guys have a different outlook. Let me know what you guys think. Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina. But my prediction is um, going to be Deontay Wilder win via knockout within six rounds. That's either TKO, KO, or stoppage. Um, but like I said, if Eric Molina um, somewhat shows us a different Molina then uh, and goes uh, past six rounds I think he has a chance of going all 12 rounds and um, but still loses via unanimous decision yeah I just I just don't see Eric Molina being the one that actually knocks out or knocks down or win against Deontay Wilder uh, we have I've seen or we have seen Deontay Wilder with much tougher opponent and Bermain to Steve Byrne to be uh, one of them, you know. I gave Bermain Stevern all the credits in the world, man. That dude, he didn't look like he was in shape, but that dude was strong. And, you know, one of the most important tool, uh, weapon in boxing, especially the sport of boxing, is having a great chin, you know, having a good chin, a decent chin. Now, I shouldn't even say decent, having a good or great chin, right? That's one, you know, cause you're gonna get caught. You're gonna get hit and, uh, <clears throat> Deontay Wilder proved that, uh, you know, to us that he has chin. You know, Bermain Stevern, Bermain Stevern's punches was no joke. <laughs> that dude can punch. And um, he's actually, like I said, landed a lot of big shots against Deontay Wilder. But for some reason, Deontay Wilder can take it. He, he could take it. You know, he didn't get knocked down. He was somewhat a little bit wobbled, but... Uh, the guy's a beast at the moment, you know as far as the heavyweight division is concerned so there you go guys let me know what you guys think Deontay Wilder versus Eric Molina Saturday uh, June 13th uh, 2015 the fight's gonna be in Alabama Deontay Wilder's hometown so like I said before guys nothing personal just boxing let me know what you guys think leave me some comments Please subscribe to my channel, plus one and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Peace.